Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing a quiz for our website. So this is the main screen of the quiz and we can see we have this question over here and we have three options. And when we hover over these, we have this animation and we also have this animation for the next button. And we'll be adding a couple of questions and options for this quiz. And we will add all the functionality using JavaScript. But first of all, we will design this using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. First of all, I just want to mention that in this quiz, we are not connecting the questions and the options and uh, all the data to a database. We are writing everything inside our JavaScript code. So it's not a good idea to use this for a quiz competition or anything like that. But this is just a simple quiz which will be on a page of a website and uh, you will have some questions for the visitor and it will make your web page a little bit more interactive. So we are not going to use any database for this. Now I also have a video on creating a quiz for your blogger website where we are using a third party service. So if you want to create a serious quiz, you can use that. I will leave the link of the video in the description. But for this quiz, all the data is in the front end. So if the visitor wants, they can get the question and the answers from the source code of your web page. Right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start designing this quiz. So first of all, let's create an HTML file. So here I have opened this blank project inside VS Code. Let's create a new file over here and I will name it index.html. And let's create one more file called style.css. And we'll have one more file for the JavaScript. We'll name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. And in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our style.css file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And we'll also link our JavaScript file over here. So I'll just type script colon src and I'll just type main.js over here. Now I'll create a division to contain everything. So we'll create a division with the class of quiz container. And in that we'll have an h2 and we'll give it a class of question. And this is our question. I'll just copy this and paste it over here. Right now let's create a container division for all the options. So we'll just create a division with a class of options container. And in that we'll create buttons for all the options. So we'll create buttons with the class of option. And in the first option we have Java. And I'll just duplicate this two more times and uh, the next one is Google Chrome and uh, then we have Python and now we need to have a next button so we'll create one more button and uh, we'll give it a class of next btn and uh, we'll just type next over here right now let's open this in our browser so I have this extension called live server in VS code so I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server so here we can see we have the question, we have the three options and we have the next button. Now let's go ahead and go to style.css and let's start styling this uh, quiz. Now let's target the quiz container class. So I'll just type quiz container. First of all, let's give it a background color. So here we can see that we have this uh, gradient background color and uh, I have generated this from a website called cssgradient.io. So you can go to cssgradient.io and go to menu and then click on backgrounds and here you have to go to gradient hunt and here you can find a lot of different gradients and you can copy the CSS code from here. So I think this is the one that I have used. So I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here. So we have this uh, gradient background. Now let's give it a maximum width of 480 pixels and we'll set it to the center so we'll just type margin and for the top and bottom we'll type 32 pixels and left and right auto and let's set the font family to open sans sans serif now if you don't have this font then you can go to fonts.google.com and download the font from there now let's add a border radius and we'll add a border radius of 24 pixels and uh, let's also add a box shadow 
of 0, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, negative 2 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and uh, 0 0.5. Right now let's target the question. So we'll type quiz container dot question. So we have this H2 with the class of question and we'll text align it to the center and we'll set the color of the text to light gray and we also want to set a background color for this so here we can see we have this gradient so let's search for that over here and uh, I think this is the one so I'll just copy this and paste it over here so we have the background color now let's set a padding of 48 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right and we'll also add a border radius of 24 pixels top left and top right and 0 for bottom left and bottom right and we'll also give a margin bottom of 24 pixels right now let's target the options container so we'll type quiz container options container right now for the options container we'll set the display to flex and the flex direction to column and uh, let's set the width to 400 pixels and we'll center it by typing margin 0 auto now let's target each of the options individually so quiz container option and we have to get the background color for this so we have this gradient so let's go to this website over here and uh, I think this is the one let's copy this and uh, paste it over here and uh, let's add a padding of 16 pixels and uh, let's set the border to 0 and we will add a margin top of 20 pixels and uh, we'll set a border radius of 10 pixels and uh, we will add a border left of 8 pixels solid and we will have the color as D62H28 and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and we'll also set the font weight to bold and we'll set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have a different mouse cursor let's also add the hover effect so let's type quiz container option colon hover and when we hover over this we want to have a different background color so we'll set a background color of FFD37C and we also want to change the scale so we'll type transform scale of 1.05 so we have the hover effect we'll also add a transition for smooth animation all to 400 milliseconds so the hover is working all right now the last thing to style is the next button so let's type quiz container next btn and we'll set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 48 pixels left and right and margin top of 32 pixels and margin bottom of 20 pixels right now we need to center it so for that let's go over here to the container division and uh, here we will add display of flex and flex direction of column and uh, here we can go ahead and type align self to center All right let's add a background color of black and we'll set the border to zero and the color of the text to light gray and we'll set the font size to 20 pixels and font weight to bold let's also set the cursor to pointer let's add a border radius of 10 pixels and uh, we'll also add a hover effect so let's type quiz container next btn colon hover and we'll just set a transform scale of 1.05 and we'll also add a transition so everything is working all right 
we have this margin top over here for the questions so let's go ahead and remove the margin top margin top of zero all right so now the design of the main area is completed all right so that's basically it for this video we will continue designing this in the next video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day